This is Jamie William in Van Zandt County, and I am here with Dwayne Collins, doctor, veterinarian. There you go. And uh, so, uh, but but you're also involved in a little organization as well, right? Right. The Alamo Letter Society. Alamo Letter Society, and I, and I, I guess that's uh, kind of gaining in popularity a little bit, and and it's partly because of what is happening with some plaques and the letter, right? What, what, what happened out here uh, at the courthouse today? Well, we placed the plaque of, of uh, Colonel William Travis's letter from the Alamo on our lawn at our courthouse. The Alamo Letter Society's mission is to place this same or a plaque like this in every county in the state of Texas. It's 254 counties. It's the same uh, identical plaque that you see at the Alamo but we want it in each county because everybody doesn't get to go to San Antonio to visit the Alamo and they need to read this letter at least once a year. <laughs> and so we're, we're trying trying to place it in every county. Well, that's uh, that's uh, pretty interesting. Uh, four so far, right? We got four. Ellis, Rockwell, New Aces, and now Benton. And, and another one coming up, Granbury? Granbury, Hood County is coming up. All right. And uh, what's special about that one? Well, very special about that one because uh, David Crockett's uh, wife was uh, deeded 400 acres after the Alamo, after Texas became independent, and she chose Hood County, and she is buried in Hood County, and there are uh, descendants of Davy Crockett uh, still there. In fact, uh, one of the descendants is going to read the letter at their ceremony, and they're going to have, uh, there's a group that dresses up in period outfits, and they're going to have a, a musket uh, uh, salute. Uh, so it's, it's going to be kind of a special, special uh, uh, ceremony there. Why do you think? Uh, why do you think the letter is important? Do you think it uh, can can reflect on today? It must reflect, reflect upon today, and all the patriots of the past that have stood for freedom and our liberties and give, given the last full measure for that cause. No one exemplifies that more than the brave men that stood at the Alamo, knowing that they were facing death, yet stood strong because they stood there fighting for our liberties. And we need to honor that, we need to respect that, and we need to uh, honor them by uh, doing everything we can to preserve our liberties. Uh, pretty good turnout today. Yes, it's very good turnout for a Friday with everybody working. Yes, we, we were glad that uh, we saw as many people as we did. And, uh, and, you know, I mean, Canton has uh, a whole lot of visitors. Yes. You know, I've got more than maybe other counties uh, well, for some reason <laughs> on those first Mondays. Oh, yes. And, uh, and I, maybe it's going to be seen by a lot more people. It will be seen by a lot of people. The traffic, as you saw up and down this street during a normal day, not even first Monday. But when it's first Monday, it is bumper to bumper to bumper three days in a row. And uh, people come to the square, they walk the square, they look at our courthouse and the uh, monuments that have been erected around here, but they will pay special attention to this, I assure you, because it really stands out. And we're so proud of that. And so hopefully we'll get a lot of visitors. Yeah, I think uh, there's probably just a lot of people out there that don't know what it's all about. That's right, as you saw, we had the choir from, from uh, Canton High School here and there are a lot of things that they weren't even aware of in reference to the Alamo and, and what went on at the Alamo. And we educated them a little bit this morning. Good deal. Anything you'd like to add? Just that uh, I am anxious that uh, this mission get completed throughout the state of Texas. And like I stated, I would love to see March the 6th, the day the Alamo fell, as a state holiday. It should be endured to Texas as 4th of July is to the nation. That was our 4th of July to stand for Texas and our freedoms. And I would like to see that happen. Well, thank you very much, Doctor, for speaking with me. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty uh, interesting deal. And so, uh, yeah, just uh, remember that there's a little echo of the Alamo. Yeehaw. <laughs> we'll have more later on KLTV7 News and KLTV.com.